It's a very rough game, and the guys who play it are uh, a special breed of cat. They say in England that soccer is the gentleman's game played by hooligans, and rugby is the hooligans' game played by gentlemen. It's about running as hard and as fast as you can, putting people into space, and scoring against the opposition. And whoever scores the most points wins the game. You know, this game is kind of, you know, thuggish. <laughs> It's a tough game, but when it's over, it's over. And uh, yeah, they're, they're definitely gentlemen. As rough as they are and as tough as they are, they shake hands at the end of the game, and a lot of them go out for beers afterwards together. I never met any of them that were loud mouth or aggressive uh, type people. They were actually, most of them were quite, uh, quite humble, even in their uh, success. There's something about South African men that is both at once rugged and manly and very soulful and heartfelt. And I think that that's what we see embodied in Francois Pinard. How are you? Very nice to see you. Francois Pinard, of course, uh, he was very helpful, very helpful to Matt Damon because Matt had to betray him and uh, they hung out together and uh, Matt got an idea of the way he talked and the way he sounded and his general philosophies on life. He's a great bloke. I was so struck by his, his humility, uh, his wanting to know things, um, and just there's no airs and graces. What you see is what you get. There's definitely a similarity, and especially in the energy, I think, of the two. But you know what I think it is for both of them is that they're both open-hearted, you know, and, um, and they both embrace what they do fully. They're both very athletic people. They're both very outgoing and personable guys. And so there, I can understand easily why they bonded so well. We ran together, we did some sprints on the beach, uh, then we went to the gym, and then I realized he's worked incredibly hard for this movie. We had fun together. Uh, I told him that I'm gonna do a crazy thing. I'm climbing up Kilimanjaro, and then we're coming back and we're doing a cycle race. Uh, around the mountain yeah, for charity, and he said, I'm in. Matt and his brother uh, were, was doing it with Francois' team. I don't know. I don't know What's the win? Who did you bring the win? And Francois and his friend Dominic were riding tandem bikes on this 105 kilometer uh, ride in the worst winds that have ever been seen in Cape Town on an Argus day. It's just an amazing experience. He didn't quit. It was very tough because their bike broke you know, on the first big hill. Two kilometers later and the chain broke again. And we were like, okay, Matt, maybe we should just, you know, let's go back, sit in the sun. And he said, are you kidding me? If the chain breaks every two kilometers, I'm gonna finish this race. And it pretty much broke about 10 or 11 more times. No, he stuck at it and uh, it was tough. We spent seven hours in the saddle and I was planning to do only four in the saddle. This was a man who didn't need to do this. This was this is a day before his first day of shooting. Coming through, I believe, now, Crosshouse. That's the movie, yes. Crosshouse, Pinot, that's the movie, that's the movie, and Matt Damon. Crosshouse, Pinot, and Matt Damon. Coming through, yeah. Whenever we stopped and people wanted an autograph or a photograph, he was more than willing to do it. And I learned so much from that again. You know, we, we do that with somebody that is known all over the world and you get to know him better, and you get to know that he does things because he really wants to do things. Guys! Okay. As soon as we get back, 10 minutes after that, the spring box. As I was introducing, I was like, oh, here's Matt, and I usually, we usually just go, and Matt kind of brought him in a circle, and not so much a pep talk, but just, hey guys, I'm one of the guys, feel free to give me any tidbits, you know, don't treat me like I'm a star or anything like that, I'm one of you guys, and I want to do this right, and I want to do this film justice, and he was very passionate about it, and really right there you could see, you know, he is a leader, he's a leader in his own way. He throws him down onto the ground, and, and he looks at me and goes, not in the face, I'm an actor. <laughs> I never played rugby before, uh, but the, the training was very intense, did a lot of weightlifting, so I put on a lot of weight and sprinting, a lot of sprints, which uh, I, I hadn't really done, and then boxing. Well, you know, you can play rugby and get in shape, but even the rugby players, they all do 
exactly what Matt was doing. They all press iron and really heavy, and everybody works very hard to be uh, fit so you don't get injured. 32, take one. Because he took it very seriously, because he also knew, I think, coming in out of shape, there's so many injuries that could happen. Even the pro players that we had got hurt occasionally. So we certainly wouldn't want to lose our leading man. Not that we were taking it easy on him by any means. He came in there and he was hitting guys and, and having a good time. <laughs> having Chester Williams there and Francois, he would talk to all the time. Um, he became very knowledgeable about it and even came up with his own kind of, well, what if I came here and ask his own questions? Can I do this? Can I do that? Huh? All right. I mean, I'm not trying to add to the budget, but <laughs> I was going to say, it does look better. Two subject. days left shooting, Murph. There goes my part. <laughs> When I got to the training and I had to teach him uh, how to run, what, when, what is what, uh, like when is the ruck, when is the scrum, when is the line out, uh, he was quite good. Yeah. Okay. No, if you come here, yeah, it's going to be difficult. Yeah, yeah, like that's what happened. Yeah. yeah, I went over yeah, the wrong side. Yeah. Okay. The Springboks prided themselves on their fitness. They were, they were the fittest team uh, in the tournament, and, and they say that proudly. I was talking to Chester when I came to South Africa, and, uh, and he said, you're, you're really fit. He said, what have you been doing? I said, well, I've been, I've been uh, boxing and weightlifting and sprinting. And he looked at me for a while and he goes, why don't you just play rugby? 